टर्निंग इफेक्ट ऑफ फोर्स सो वॉट डू मीन बाई टर्निंग इफेक्ट ऑफ फोर्स वेन एनी ऑब्जेक्ट is fixed on some points for example we are having this door this door is fixed at some points this fixed point is nothing but pivot or you can say pivoted point okay so whenever you are applying the force on the handle of the door the door starts rotating about the fixed point and this rotation of door about the fixed point is called turning effect of force okay now let's see the definition definition is a force may cause an object to turn about a pivot means whenever we are applying force to any object and that object start turning about the fixed point that is known as turning effect of force turning effect of force is also called moment of force and one more name is there that is torque okay turning effect of force first name moment of force second name then third name we are having torque of the same thing torque is also same thing that when we are applying force to any object and that object start rotating about or start turning about a fixed point that is also known as torque and we are going to represent the torque by the symbol tau this one symbol okay so next we are having examples related to turning effect of force here we are having some examples means in our daily life where we are going to use this kind of concept so first we are having when you apply force on the handle of door whenever we are applying force on the handle of door in order to open it or close it the door always move about about its fixed points or pivoted points okay and when we are applying force and object start turning about the fixed point that is nothing but a turning effect moment of force or you can say torque okay next we are having second example related to this turning effect of force when you apply force using foot on the pedal of bicycle when we are applying the force on pedal of bicycle pedal start turning or start rotating about the fixed pedal axis so this applied force on the pedals and start pedal start turning about the fixed axis is turning effect of a force third example we are having when a key is put into a lock when we are going to put the key into a lock and when we apply force on the key this key start turning about the fixed point and this applied force on an object and object start turning about the fixed point is known as turning effect of force next we are having next example next we are having factors affecting turning effect of force so we have discussed that what is turning effect of force now turning effect of force is going to depend upon two factors first we are having force so how we are going how turning effect of force is going to depend upon force when we are applying more and more force to any object that is pivoted at some point that is fixed at some point by applying more force turning effect of force will also more will also increase so greater the magnitude of force applied when we are apply more and more force to any object greater will be the turning object so in that object greater will be the turning effect is seen okay next factor affecting we are having perpendicular distance of force from the point of pivot if there is a maximum possible distance from the pivoted point and the point where we are going to apply force for example here we are having handle of door and here we are having pivoted point so here you can see maximum perpendicular distance is there between the like force and the turn and the pivoted point maximum perpendicular distance means greater turning effect will be there in the force by applying less force means if there is a maximum perpendicular distance so by applying even though less force there will be a greater turning effect in the op door or in the object so turning effect of force are going to depend upon two like things first we are having force greater will be the force greater is a turning effect of force second we are having perpendicular distance maximum is the perpendicular distance from the point of force to the pivoted point greater will be the turning effect of force so next on combining these two factors when we combine force and perpendicular distance here we are having relation between torque force and perpendicular distance so this relation says that moment of force or turning effect of force or torque is equals to force multiply perpendicular distance so this formula we are going to use in order to solve the numericals okay next we are having definitions of clockwise and anti clockwise moment actually in the 8th class we are having just definitions of clockwise and anti clockwise moment so we will see only definitions okay 
so first we are having clockwise movement what do you mean by clockwise movement when we apply force to any object and that object start rotating about the about clockwise movement and start rotating in a clockwise movement that turning effect of force is a clockwise movement okay means when any object is fixed on a pivoted point or fixed on any point and when we apply the force on that object and the object start rotating clockwise that is known as clockwise movement in the opposite we are having anti clockwise movement as a name suggest anti clockwise means when object is fixed to some point and when we apply the force to that object and by applying force object start rotating in a anti clockwise movement so that is known as anti clockwise movement okay next we are having units of moment of force so by using the formula of moment of force formula we have discussed now only that moment of force is equals to force multiply perpendicular distance we will see the units of moment of force so here we are having si unit firstly we will see si unit of force then we will see si unit of distance as we know si unit of force is nothing but newton and si unit of distance is meter so what is the si unit of moment of force si unit of moment of force is newton meter if you talk about the cgs unit of force then cgs unit of force is cgs unit of force is dyne and cgs unit of distance is centimeter so cgs unit of moment of force is dyne centimeter si unit is newton meter cgs unit is dyne centimeter next we are having relationship between si unit and cgs unit of force uh, many time in the exams this question also came that what is the relationship between si and cgs unit of force so here we are having the relation this you have to remember so 1 newton meter is equals to 10 to the power 7 dyne centimeter as you know 1 newton meter newton meter is nothing but a si unit and dyne centimeter is nothing but a cgs unit so this is a relation between newton meter and dyne centimeter and if you talk about the definition of 1 newton meter that what is the definition of 1 newton meter so here we are having definition 1 newton meter can you write it like this 1 newton multiply 1 meter so 1 newton meter means when you apply the force of or constant force of 1 newton to that object which is at the perpendicular distance of 1 meter from the fixed point that force applied that turning effect in the force is 1 newton meter i will explain you again 1 newton meter means when you apply the constant force of 1 newton to any object which is fixed at perpendicular distance of 1 meter and that uh, force or that turning effect in that object is a 1 newton meter next we are having numerical problems related to turning effect of force or moment of force so first we have given numerical a force of 2.5 newton uh, as we can see newton is given newton means here we are given with force first of all write the given things whatever things are given in the numerical just write it here okay a force of 2.5 newton so force is given 2.5 newton acts on an object at a normal distance of 40 centimeter distance is given centimeter means distance so perpendicular distance is given 40 centimeter from the turning point calculate the moment of force moment of force or turning effect of force or you can say torque we have to calculate as we know the formula torque is is equals to force multiply perpendicular distance so torque is what in order to calculate the moment of force either this unit should be in si unit either force should be in meter and distance should be in centimeter or you can use in the cgs system means force should be in dyne and distance should be in centimeter so here you can check that it is easy to convert the like it is easy to solve the numericals in a si unit system so here in the force si unit system already given but distance is given in cgs so can you convert the cgs unit system into si means can we convert 40 centimeter into meter then yes easily we can convert as we know in 1 centimeter 1 by 100 meter is there so just convert it so it will be 40 divided by 100 that is 0 0.4 meter so torque is equals to torque is equals to force force is what 2.5 newton multiply distance is what 0 0.4 when you solve this 2.5 multiply 0 0.4 you will get torque is equals to 1 newton meter 
सो हेयर टॉर्क और मूवमेंट ऑफ फोर्स इज वन न्यूटन मीटर नेक्स्ट वी आर हैविंग नेक्स्ट न्यूमेरिकल द मूवमेंट ऑफ फोर्स ऑफ ट्वेल्व न्यूटन न्यूटन इज गिवन मीन्स हेयर फोर्स इज गिवन सो फोर्स ट्वेल्व न्यूटन इज गिवन अबाउट अ पिवट इज फोर पॉइंट टू न्यूटन मीटर न्यूटन मीटर इज वॉट टॉर्क इज गिवन ओके फोर पॉइंट टू न्यूटन मीटर वॉट इज अ नॉर्मल डिस्टेंस सो डिस्टेंस डी वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट सो एज वी नो द फॉर्मूला टॉर्क इज इक्वल्स टू फोर्स मल्टीप्लाई पर पेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस सो हेयर टॉर्क इज गिवन फोर पॉइंट टू is equals to forces given 12 but distance we have to calculate so you can see 12 is in multiply that side it will go in divide so 4.2 divide 12 is equals to d when you solve this 4.2 divide 12 you will get 0.35 meter as a distance might be math calculation you are knowing how to solve if you don't know you can see here also first of all write 4.2 and this divide i am going to write like this divide 12 okay 4.2 decimal i am going to convert into a fractional form so it will be 42 by 10 divide 12 then we are having 42 by 10 divide we are going to convert into multiply when you will convert divide into multiply then the next term is going to reciprocal so next term is going to reciprocal then just cut it this way we are going to cut on two table so it will be here 21 here it will be 6 next we can cut on three table it will be 2 it will be 7 so here we are having 7 divided by 2 3.5 by 10 so when you will solve 3.5 by 10 by shifting the point you will get 0.35 so distance is nothing but 0.35 meter next we are having some examples and applications of movement of force some examples and applications means we are in our daily life we are going to see the movement of force that we are going to discuss one by one so first we are having a handle is fixed on a door at maximum possible distance from the hinge means from this hinge point or this pivoted point this handle is fixed at the maximum possible distance might be now you can guess why this handle is fixed at maximum possible distance because greater will be the perpendicular distance from the pivot and that of handle and greater will be the turning effect of force means by applying even though less force we can easily rotate the door about it fixed point that is why handle is always fixed at the maximum possible distance next we are having we prefer to use a spanner with long arm we always use a, span a spanner with a long arm why because here we are having fixed point this is a pivoted point and from here from this point we are going to apply the force as you can see from the point of application of force and the pivoted point maximum possible distance is there if greater perpendicular distance will be there then greater turning effect will be there by applying even though less force that is why always we are using the long arm spanners in order to rotate it easily by applying less force next we are having a mechanic uses screw driver of long and thick arm same with the a uh, screw driver also we are using the long and thick arm why because if there is a greater distance between the force applied and the pivoted point greater perpendicular distance means greater turning effect will be there and even though with less force it will move easily next we are having the hand operated floor, uh, floor grinder used in village home is provided handle near its rim what do you mean by rim rim is this rotational part means this is the rotational part and at the end of this rotational part we are having this kind of like hand is given on the floor grinder why this at the maximum possible distance this hand is given so that from this fixed point from this pivoted point if maximum possible distance will be there then more perpendicular distance means more turning effect will be there and even though by applying less force it can rotate very easily that is why it is given at the maximum possible distance near the rim this end point is known as rim okay next we are having potter's wheel in a potter wheel also potter is using the potter is having here the fixed point and from here he is applying the force why because maximum greater distance will be there here greater distance will be there perpendicular distance greater distance means more turning effect will be there if more turning effect means he has to apply less force and this uh, pot can rotate very easily next we are having example of seesaw 
as this central point fulcrum is a pivoted point this central point is a pivoted point and here we are having the force applied okay so here also the maximum possible distance is there between the pivoted point and the application of force maximum possible distance means maximum perpendicular distance means more is a turning effect and even though by applying less force turning effect will be more